Do you ever ask yourself, do I have enough velvet underground? And the simple question is, of course you don't. Because if you like the velvet underground, everybody knows this is the album to have. This is the masterpiece. This is what everybody wants. This is what every band that has any sense uh, claims to have learned from. And... Um, of course, there's there's different variations, and this is this is more about collecting than rather have it. But of course, some pressings are really really nice. But some pressings that I think that are really fun and it's real interesting is let's start with this uh, Canadian issue. Canada, like uh, New Zealand and the UK, have a different cover. This is the front cover, and the original Canadian stereo. I think it might, I think the very first here, it opens on the left. See what I mean? It's a single cover and it opens to the left and it has no Emerson. And now let's see if I have another. Here's a Canadian that opens to the right and you see the slick. This is beautiful. This has got the slick on here. This has the Emerson. I'm not sure. I believe the to the left open is the first pressing and the to the right open is the second pressing. Uh, who knows? Somebody knows. And I think they... The, the left openers all have no Emerson and the right op openers have Emerson, but uh, somebody else might know better. The English cover is uh, is the same. This is the UK mono. This has also opens, um, this opens to the right, but also has the, the uh, back slick as a front cover, no banana. And uh, often mistaken, the British had an import cover that has a banana, but that's the second pressing. What is this? This looks like uh, New Zealand. This is the New Zealand mono. This is really good. This has, you know, like, uh, this almost looks like the German label, but it's not and uh, that's a good one to have sounds awful cheap vinyl more canadians more canadians uh japanese of course um big mis misunderstanding people think this is the first pressing i don't have the first pressing yet the first pressing has a 2000 yen ob and uh beautiful beautiful good sounding record and uh, this is the skinny banana also have a terrible because it didn't mean that much to me back in the day this if you see this see there's no rim on it and now if you take a regular regular banana this has like the rim on it so this is probably the, like the united states 71 um reissue and of course you all know that some have emersons and some have don't have emersons and of course you should have a real 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 nice mono and a real nice stereo like this this is my nice mono look at this this looks like Nobody fingered it, nobody touched it, nobody put his dirty mouth on it and sucked that banana, motherfuckers. And this is also, excuse my French, this is this is my darling Schatzi. And um this is the this is actually a German Emerson. And back in the days, you know, this this is dedicated to these people. Back in the days when there was no internet and there was only uh lists for trading, if you wanted good velvet underground stuff, you had to trade it. And uh there were people like Gordon Leon, uh Alfredo Garcia and MC Kostek of the VOS, of course. And uh he told me, Oh, there's no German Emerson. I believe this was the first ever uh German Emerson discovered for the public. I mean, somebody had it on the shelf. And, um, you know, that's real nice, except for some crackle crackle. Who would write on a goddamn record? And a uh, real nice shape. This is what you want. And let's see what else we have here. More nice bananas, more nice bananas, peeled bananas. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. These, these are this. This is this is back in the days, you know, pre-internet. I walk into a record store. I pull out the record. It said $25. I pull out the record. This falls into my hands. And I'm like, okay, I'm buying it. <laughs> And this, this, this is also this back in the days when eBay, you could give yourself feedback. You remember that? Anybody? This is when I got this for like a hundred, 150 bucks. And those days are gone for good and forever. I'm glad I got these. These uh, make me sexier than I am already. Then uh, if you love the Velvet Underground, that's just what you want. Let's see what this is. Uh, oh, this this is the, the British. See, this is the import cover. So for a while, it, they'd gone up in price too. For a while, you could just buy an English pressing. This is their second pressing, and it have this this cheap, not even a half yin and yang, but uh, two-third yin and yang. And uh, could you replace your shitty American cover with the original American cover from a cheap British pressing. Now, why does this have bubble wrap? Bubble wrap? Now, this is actually a still sealed copy underneath this extra protective layer and this other sh outer sleeve. There's a still sealed stereo, which is, you know, as we all know, that's that's hard. By the way, this is all velvet. All this is velvet underground, Lou Reed, everything. And I got another shelf like that. So, you know. 
takes one to know one. You got to have bananas. It's just the best album in the world. Of course, no, nobody has them like Mark. Mark has 800. Mark, you're a son of a gun, but I love you, man. And, uh, you know, consider I'm living in Germany. This is pretty damn good. I used to buy them everywhere I go. And, you know, they cut peels. Now comes the lesser ones. Oh, back there's a good one. See here, this is, oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Here, this, this is a good one. The Greek, you know, like, wouldn't go. <laughs> That's a funny story. When I was young, I went to a record store. I had 10 bucks. It was going to be the first LP I bought. And the cheap stuff was 10 bucks. So this said Andy Wall. I go like, oh, I know that name. And I turned it around and it said something like Lou Reed, whoever that is. I go like, I don't know this guy. I didn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so the Greek knew that crap happened to me and uh, they made a special issue. Where is it? I just saw it right here. This is the Greek issue. This is, actually says the Velvet Underground, Lou Reed and Nico. So you know what you're buying. And <clears throat> this is a good one. That's a rare one. Look at this. This is like the test pressing of the Greek special issue. And I have a couple more somewhere. But you know. So... I like I always say, the minimum you should have is like the first pressing of your country or the closest by, and then a couple of nice ones, like a nice mono and a nice American stereo. And then, you know, you, you do know that some of these sound savers actually have complete mono master uh, plates. So you have to check the runouts. Some of them are like one side mono, two sides mono, the B side mono, the A side mono. So, but that's a cheap way to get a nice mono. This actually made uh, for a rumor that there was uh, different colored bananas in Germany because people figured if it's peeled and it's blue underneath and blue around, there might be like a green banana on top that did not exist. No evidence has ever been found, so there probably isn't one. And yeah, buy some more Velvet Underground. My name is Tex Tixigas, and I love the Velvet Underground.